I'm going to tell you about the root note slide. And uh, probably the most famous example of the root note slide is... Uh, when you're improvising or playing over chords, it's good to have this. It's outside of your pentatonic that uses your octaves. Um, as well as just another note that's not in the pentatonic. So we're still going to work out of A here, just because it's right in the middle. So the root note slide, you go on the same string as your root note, you go up a whole step or two frets, that's a starting point, and then you slide. Well, when we go back to make a box under here, there's E, F sharp, and a, there's our root note. You can create another slide right here off this octave. Okay, here's this A. Okay, where's some more, more A's here? Here's one. Okay, that's A there. That's a good little lick to throw in there. So if you're working your, uh, your box scale, Right here back at A. Next thing we're going to talk about is using your D, D chord shape to create a beginning to a run. So it's just, you need to know where they are. Uh, we're still working out of A. So our D shape of A is up here on the ninth fret. So what I like to do is do a, like a D sus four, where you're gonna put this fourth finger down. And see, once you get to that G string, you're using the major scale to find this octave of A. And from there, you can do whatever you want to. You can be in the pentatonic. You can be in the box. You can do the root note slide, which puts you right back up here on the chord. Let's go back to working in A here. So the lower one is the flatted seventh, which if you watch the earlier video with the three box scale, that's the number one of your box scales, the flatted seventh. You bend that. Well, since you're bending, I mean, I'm bending down here, but the tone is going up. So it's an up bend and you're, there's your root note. So you see your, you're making the, the note grow towards your root note and then you're hammering the root note. And then you can do your root note slide. The other one I like to do in this style of playing, you're gonna go from the five note here and then we're gonna bend. to see so on the B string fifth fret there that's the five of our egg and then we're gonna take this note which is the three we're gonna bend it to match the four and then we're gonna go back here which is our octave which is a that's our root note again you could also do that here. Okay, that's a cool guy. And then this one is multi-genre, the, uh, you know, 
lots of people use that one. Or you take that, which is the flatted seven. That's that's number one in our box. See, that's down there on our last box. That first one, that's the flatted seventh. That, in this position, you can bend this note, uh, but in this case, we're not gonna bend it. It's gonna be stationary, and we're gonna bend this note here, which is the four, which is the D again. You know, put your hands in good position. See, brings you right back there. So these all work well together. There's your root note. There's your uh, D shape. And your box. All the rest of it's in this hand, and that's a whole nother probably 15, 20 minute video. A lot of little tasteful things that you can add to your scaling and your uh, improvised playing that it can just become a, kind of a tool when you hear it in your head, you can do it. And uh, there's not a lot of stuff I play that requires this kind of playing, but uh, I do respect it and I like it when it's tastefully done. I like it when they're showing off too, to an extent, but uh, it's uh, definitely uh, hats off to those guys who are great at this. Take care, take what I learn, practice it. That's the magic. The magic is doing it over and over and over.